Nothing replaces experience. You see it every time you watch Eyewitness News. Most of our people grew up in this area. Our stories are your stories, and the first questions we ask are the questions you want to have answered. When you really care about the news, experience is all that counts. See us tonight. Welcome back to the fresh face of KDKA. I'm here in our newly remodeled newsroom. You know, KDK has been in this building since the 1950s, but this isn't where it all started. It's actually our third home. And longtime viewers will note that KDK is actually our second set of call letters. So let me take you all the way back to where a Dumont TV station known as WDTV first made history and show you how we got here. Welcome to 4400 Bigelow Boulevard here in Oakland. On January 11th, 1949, this is where WDTV broadcast for the very first time. Well, not exactly this. This is the site of the old Syria Mosque, and it was inside that famous performance venue that network television was born. You see, WDTV's first broadcast was a milestone in the TV industry because it provided the first network of coaxial cable feed that included Pittsburgh and 13 other cities, from Boston to St. Louis. 4,000 people attended that first two and a half hour broadcast, which included an hour long local show, followed by 90 minutes of network programs. But believe it or not, after that first live broadcast, WDTV didn't have permanent studio space for nearly two years. It wasn't until November 19, 1950, that WDTV officially opened its first studio here at the Chamber of Commerce building on 7th Avenue in the heart of downtown. The first show produced here, the Wilkins Amateur Hour. It was also here that WDTV's first live newscast began. A five minute newscast in the morning, 10 minutes at noon, and another five minutes at 11. And then on August 11th, 1952, WDTV took a major step forward with a 15 minute newscast at 11 called The World Tonight. <laughs> Here is the world tonight. Now, it was also here where a radio newsman from KQV transitioned to television and began a 35-year run behind the anchor desk. Maybe you've heard of him? Bill Burns. The United States today announced a project to launch space satellites, satellites that will circle the Earth in the outer atmosphere. Sure, the space here was nice, but Dumont quickly realized it was time for a bigger, better location. So, in late 1954, the station moved here, one gateway center. And just three months later, Dumont sold WDTV to Westinghouse. And at 12.01 p.m. on January 31st, 1955, this station officially became KDKA-TV, aligning it with pioneering radio powerhouse KDKA-AM. A lot has happened since then, a lot of news, a lot of newscasters, and a whole lot of memories. And now, nearly 70 years since we moved here to Gateway Center, we're ready for the next leg of this trailblazing TV station's incredible journey. Join us. Now that we've taken that stroll down memory lane, what do you say we bring in some legends? Some familiar faces from KDK's past return to usher in the future. Next. I'm Kathy Reichel from Shaler, and you're watching KDK TV 2. Here's to Katie and you, we've shared the best of times, good friends 